Hello, hello. So today is day 19 of math. We are going to continue working with elapsed um, time. So I'm going to be starting with going over the solve and share. So if you have not already completed the solve and share, go ahead and pause this video and complete it <clears throat> so you are able to check your work. And then look at our solve and share problem. Matthew went to the store to buy a video game. He left his house at 415. He returned home at 4.50 p.m. How long did it take Matt to buy a video game and return home? Show your strategy using a number line. All right, so I have my number line going, and I know that I'm trying to find the elapsed time or the amount of time that it took him to buy a video game. So he left at 4.15, so I'm going to put that on my number line first. Now, you, it's important to be moving in increments that are comfortable for you. So we know that our hour stays within the same. It's still within four. So we're just focusing on our minutes. So I'm at 15 now. And I'm going to go ahead and do a jump and add 15 more minutes, which will bring me at 430. Now I'm going to do another jump of 20 minutes, which will bring me to 450. When I add together 15 and 20, I get 35. So, how long did it take Matt to buy a video game and return home? It took him 35 minutes. Now let's check out our guided practice questions. Just a reminder, these questions are you do not need to complete. I'm modeling these for you as practice, so they're just in your checklist for you to look at. You do not need to solve these. So, Amy went to soccer practice at 10.10 10 a.m. Soccer practice was over at 10.55 a.m. How long was Amy at soccer practice? Show your strategy using a number line. So I have my number line, and I wrote up above 10.10 10 to 10.55 because that is the amount of time her soccer practice was. So on my number line, I'll start by putting 10, 10. And now I'll just start working on my number line. So I'll do one jump for 20 minutes, which will bring me to 10.30. I'm going to do another jump for 20 minutes, which will bring me to 10.50. And one more jump for five minutes to bring me to 10.55. So now I need to add those all together. So 20 and 20 gives me 40. 40 plus 5 gives me 45. So how long was Amy at soccer practice? Amy was at soccer practice for 45 minutes. Our second guided practice question says, Susan's dad started cooking lasagna at 5.02 p.m. It took 52 minutes for the lasagna to cook. What time was it finished cooking? Show your strategy using a number line. So this one looks a little bit different than the others that we have been solving because we don't know, our unknown is, what time he finished cooking his lasagna. We know what time he started, 5.02, and we know how long it took for the lasagna to cook. So I'm going to start right here at 5.02, and I need to make sure that I'm doing 52 minutes. So let's start from here, and I want to get to a little bit of an easier number to jump from. So I'm going to jump, let's see, two minutes of this 50. So I have 52 minus 2. I have 50 minutes remaining now, and now I am at 504. From here, I'm going to jump out of this 50. 20 minutes. So when I jumped 20 minutes, I'm going to add 20 minutes to this 04. So now it is 524. So 
So I have 30 minutes left to add to here. I'm gonna go ahead and do another 20 minutes from that. So I have 30 minutes remaining. I'm gonna subtract 20 minutes by adding 20 minutes to my time. So now I'm at 544. From here I have 10 minutes remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and do 10 minutes, which brings me to 5.55. Oops, sorry. 5.54. 5.54. Now, I can check my work by going 5.54 and 5.02. So these are the same, so I can virtually just focus on subtracting my minutes. Because within the hour, I'm within the hour of five, so no hour time has passed. Four minus two gives me two, and five minus zero gives me five. So 52 minutes since my lasagna, 52 minutes that my lasagna was cooking. So what time was it finished cooking? It was finished cooking at 554. Now it's your turn to complete the independent practice questions. You have eight questions to answer on elapsed time. Good luck!